Direct-to-consumer, or DTC, genetic testing as a method to obtain personal genetic information has been around since the early 2000s, resulting in tens of millions of people accessing genetic testing directly outside of the traditional healthcare setting. Since a leading motivation for testing is to obtain health information, many share their DTC results with their healthcare providers. Let's watch how Dr. Garcia, a primary care physician, answers a patient's questions about DTC genetic testing. Doc, I took one of those at-home genetic tests and would like your take on what the results mean for my health. Yes, of course. But before we look at your results, can you tell me why you did the test? Sure. I was interested in knowing what health conditions I'm at risk for. I already know there are things I can do to improve my health, but I was curious how genetics factors into things. Gotcha. Knowing your genetic risks also helps me focus on prevention and make more personalized recommendations. Let's look at your results. I've heard of celiac disease, but no one in my family has digestive problems, so I'm surprised I might get it. It says in my report the variant I have is common, up to 30% of people have it, but only 3% get the disease. Yes, having the variant means your chances are increased. It does not necessarily mean you'll get the disease. Lifestyle and other factors also influence the chances of developing celiac disease. It's important to be familiar with the symptoms of celiac disease, which include non-digestive symptoms as well. If you notice any symptoms, let me know right away. An early diagnosis can reduce how celiac disease affects your overall health. Thanks, Doc. That makes sense. I'll let you know if I develop any symptoms. What about this other result that says I have a higher risk for blood clots? My grandfather and sister both have had blood clots, so I'm worried. My grandfather's on a blood thinner, and my sister passed away from a blood clot in her lungs. She was only 48. Paul, I am so sorry to hear about your sister, and I understand why you're worried. I'm glad you brought this up with me. From what I know, this variant in the F2 gene is associated with an increased chance of forming harmful blood clots, especially in the deep veins of the legs. These can sometimes travel through the bloodstream and lodge in the lungs, resulting in a pulmonary embolism. Like what happened to my sister? What are the chances this could happen to me? It's hard to know for sure the cause of your sister's blood clot. Other factors also influence the chance of developing harmful blood clots. Since you have this variant, your chances are increased. However, most people with this variant never develop blood clots. I'm worried. Is there anything I can do? Yes, there are things you can do, such as eating a healthy diet, exercising regularly, and avoiding long periods of inactivity. Because you have this variant, and a family history of blood clots, I'd like you to see a hematologist who can talk more about your risks and any additional preventive actions we should consider. They may also confirm the DTC genetic test result. I'm glad there are things I can do. <laughs> now I have even more reasons to lose weight and live a healthier lifestyle. <laughs> I'll make a note in your chart so your other healthcare providers are aware of your risks. I'll also update your family history. Again, I'm sorry for the loss of your sister. Thanks. What about the rest of my family? Good point. Since variants are inherited, other family members could be at increased risk for celiac disease and blood clots. It's important to let them know so they can discuss it with their healthcare providers and consider genetic testing. I'll be sure to let everyone in my family know. Thanks, Doc, for explaining everything to me. Although it's hard to hear about my health risks, I'm glad there are things I can do to take care of myself and stay healthy. Yes, genetics is an important part of the picture, but there are definitely things you can do. I'm glad you shared your DTC results with me. Keep me updated about any changes in your family history, and let me know if you receive any other results that say you are at increased risk. I may not always know what to do, but I can reach out to my colleagues who are specialists for help. In this patient encounter, Dr. Garcia inquired about Paul's motivation for testing and reviewed his significant results within the context of his medical and family history. She discussed the next steps including disease awareness, adjusting lifestyle factors, and referral to a specialist. Dr. Garcia recognized that other family members are at increased risk. She also noted the importance of ongoing discussions about Paul's family history and genetic risk factors, as well as the availability of specialists to help answer questions. Given the growing popularity of DTC genetic testing, healthcare providers are likely to encounter questions about it from patients. Discussion about the results and motivation for testing offers an opportunity to leverage patient engagement and discuss prevention and other health and wellness goals.